Well, good afternoon, guys. It is uh, Sunday, May 19th. I'm Gunarm Dine. Call me Dine. I went ahead and did some off screen grinding, and people learned a lot of spells. So Rosa got Life 2. I think she already had Cure 4 at the end of the last stream. Uh, Cecil got uh, some new spells as well, because he actually learns life in this one. And that was the primary difference between him and Theodore versus Rosa in the after years. None of them ever learned life, only Rosa did. Uh, Rydia, she was the main one I grinded for. I take that as you will. I got her tier 3 elemental spells. So everyone's in the low 40s. And Edge actually learned a couple new spells. Well, he, I think he had Sword at the end of the Sealed Cave, but Explosive was his uh, last new one, which is uh, an AoE. So in order to uh, progress with the plot, we get a well, reshape the continent once once more! I, I mean... This is the third major earthquake <laughs> along this island! And no nothing's nothing's changed! All the trees! Not, not a single leaf falls! <laughs> the, the town's in perfect structural order! But... Uh, we got a couple things to do. First and foremost is we need the hovercraft, so let's go ahead and ditch the Falcon and get the Enterprise back. You may notice a really cool looking force field effect around the Tower of Babel. And just uh, land land our giant drill on top of the Enterprise here. And go ahead and grab the hovercraft. Precision, precision movement. Something that's almost impossible when racing in a rando. And let, let, let's see if this little sequence break works on... Yeah, can I land here? Oh, I can't. Not on this one, only only on randos. On... on on, on, uh, on vanilla or randos. Oh well. Uh, this one's not too much further away. Yeah, I keep I keep remembering the speedrunners use that little island to the right rather than going all the way to Silvera. Now oh, we talk to this guy. No tail, no or Scram, pal. Detective Gumshoe, is that you? No, who are you playing the wrong game? Give him the rat tail. Holy Toledo, the rat tail! Uh, okay, here, take it, take it all! So we got our adamant. Now what we want to do is give that to Coco the Blacksmith, but uh, not quite yet. We have one more quick trip to make before heading back underground. Yeah, this is going a little back and forth, but all oh, the rewards are very worth it. Hey, Scarecrow. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Your copy of FF9 is acting up. Oh, Jesus, the whole thing wanting to be and I want to be your canary. Talk about a drama queen in disc. But yeah, ho hopefully you get it repaired quickly. During that, we head to Fabul. We can actually report to Sheila on whatever happened to Yang. And sadly, we cannot exit out of here. We have to walk every time. What? Yang's in the underworld? <laughs> Legends always make my eyes water. Wake my old luck up with this! Receive the love pan! Well, if we stole that from the love shack, we're definitely back in the 90s. But nope, not not just the pan, it's the love pan. Frozen in the middle of Ibsen Castle on a magic place. Ugh. Yeah, that, that's the downside uh, with the multi-disc games. If if one disc dies, you, you basically lose the whole game. But yeah, you're at the really good part of the game, too. After Kooch's Palace is when the story gets gets to be its best part. But uh, that's FF9. We're, back, we're still on FF4. I'm just trying to make a name conversation. Because we're still flying around. So, first stop, Coco the Blacksmith. Certainly not the name of a clown. And you can actually talk to the sleep bubble, but that does no good. I'm not going to make another sword until I find the legendary ore adamant. This is adamant! As a token of my gratitude, I'll make your old sword into a greater one! So we hand over the legend sword, just this kind of um, mysterious legendary sword that, well, it, it has a Mycenaean legend on it, that's about it. Oh, wait, well, let me double check. Come back later! So, yeah, unlike Effie Rando, oh, it's not done right away, but uh, there is a trigger for where it will be done without us losing a whole lot of time. It does require one more trip back here, but it comes in super handy for the next area. Before that, however, one more trip to the Stealth Cave. And I'm just going to run away from all the battles. And hopefully start dashing. Actually, oh, I think these guys are new. 
Uh, unfortunately, we got the we got the ambush at the same time. Yeah, we yeah we haven't fought trap roses before. But I actually did all of my grinding right outside of Dwarf Bay, so it was a little a little slower. Let's go ahead and show off some explosives. But I was also hoping to get a imp summon from the dark imps or imp captains as they're called in this one. Sadly, they did not drop it, so I'm just going to assume not available from those enemies in this version of the game. But we'll probably we'll probably see more. I, I would have grinded on the regular M's in the overworld had I opened it up before the end of the last stream, but oh well. And thank you, Cecil. You will no longer have the Avenger before long. Okay, there we go. Got the dash. And back to the Sylph Cave. Let's go ahead and just uh, get our float on. And I'm just going to rely on muscle memory to get through here. Ah, this isn't... that's no biggie. That one is a more, more of a biggie. Well, I got close. And gotta go all the way up and over, but unfortunately this is the last room where I have to float. Sadly, encounters are still on. Wait a second, I fought you in a treasure chest. Actually, I was actually watching uh, Invenerable and Supremacy do a co-op rando run yesterday and helped him out a little bit. I said, yeah, the, the chest you want is the one where the frog lady of six frogs are. Game? Are in vanilla. I don't know if you got that, though. But it's kind of hard when you're uh, giving tips on a rando run to people who aren't used to playing vanilla. <laughs> of course, that's what happened with the runaway guys. You play, you play rando so much you forget what vanilla's like. <laughs> and another ambush. But now well, we spared one animation. We've been lucky so far. All runaway is without having to, without losing any gold. Unfortunately, let's get out our love pan. Oh, don't! I gotta remember all the voices I did for these guys. It's been three weeks. Not any time for training. Let her sleep a bit longer. Oh, Cecil, Young, you're alive. Now the self saved me when I was in trouble! Your bravery saved the dwarves! Oh, I'll go with you! No! You stay and rest! The whole world is in danger! I can't! It's no place for the injured man! Who are you? That Prince Vale of Eblon! They have me, so you get better! But I must! Don't force yourself! We'll help them instead! Miss Collar, please use us! Thank you! Oh, there's our thumbnail! <laughs> I just love the out-of-context lines used for thumbnails in this project. <laughs> Sorry, I can't help you! Alright, see you later, Scarecrow. So all that done, we gotta... Have. Oh, of course. Okay, okay. Uh, dash, trigger. Thank you. And one step away. Oh, these guys are... Uh, yeah, let's, let's just fight them. I, don't, I think we fought Gorgons before. Now, I'm going to assume those explosives are fire elemental. Uh, just one left. Ah! Oh, it's petrification versus paral paralysis! Who will win? Well, we kind of have an edge up our sleeve. And sorry, Scarecrow, you're not going to see this until after your, uh, the YouTube version, but I am going to Mysidia, and I will do the voice you wanted me to do to begin with. Come to Mysidia to activate the next cutscene trigger. We've been waiting for you! Come to the Tower of Prayer! 
Ahem! One born from a dragon's mouth! This is going way too slow! Watching both light and dark rises high up in the sky over the still land veiling the moon in the light of eternity he brings a promise to mother earth with bounty and mercy I haven't done that voice in a while <laughs> I love it everyone pray the legend is about to come true and stop slamming your heads on the ground. That's just gotta be uncomfortable. Yep, a uh, nice little Deus Ex Machina to get us where we need to go next. Look, everyone! Our prayers have been heard! Maybe I should give him in the preacher man voice. And no, Cecil did not just become a paladin again, even though it's the same fanfare. The Ark of the Moon! The Lunar Whale! And yes, I would call it the Lunar Whale. The big whale just doesn't sound right. During my prayers, I heard a voice calling for you to go to the moon. Someone awaits you there. How did we get there? The lunar whale is the Ark of the Moon. Weren't you paying attention to the previous cutscene? It's a giant airship, but you can activate its crystal to travel between Earth and the moon. Okay, old man. Well, we'll just take your word for it. But, uh, with that done, we're just going to ignore our objective. Because there's still more, er, er, a little bit more side questing to do. That cutscene trigger counts... As enough time having passed for Coco to finish the job, at least in vanilla. Let's see if it's still the case. Oh, talk to him. It's done! This is the sacred sword! Go on, take it! We got Excalibur! Yep, gotta do that every time. So let's go ahead and give that to Cecil. It is his second best weapon in vanilla. Uh... L slightly lower stats than uh, than the Avenger, but very nice attack power boost. And I'm just gonna, and of course, no, it's, it's not actually holy elemental. No, it's, it is holy. Elemental. I'm looking at the kill list, uh, but yeah, hol holy elemental attack. Uh, he still resists lightning because of the diamond armor. Well, do a quick cutscene switch, and okay, so there is no store here. Yeah, once he finishes Excalibur and Vanilla, a little store opens up in there where you can buy th uh, throwing weapons for Edge. No such luck here. And one more, one more quick side trip before we head to the moon. Because although we did wake Yang up, he can't come with us. He can't go home. We have property that isn't ours that we borrowed. Let's go ahead and return it. Just have to climb up through Febble once again. Last time, I promise. Oh. Yeah, don't run into the wall there, Rydia. So I return the love pan to Sheila. Sorry about making you do all that. Take this as thanks. So we got the cleaver. Nope. Oh, I totally skipped that line by accident. If you see that old log, tell him something something. Missed it. And sadly, yeah, a spoon is just so much funnier. I'm, I'm going to shock that one a point against the translation for this version. Oh well. But in general, it is not a weapon anyone can equip unless that got changed. Indeed not. Uh, yeah, I'll do... Well, not quite selling, but... Uh, some inventory arrangements. In a bit. Not quite on a store. <coughs> First burp, excuse me.
But fortunately, uh, in terms of stores and inns, money is no longer a problem because the big whale has a free big chocobo and free healing. Just kind of step on these pods hill. Pods hill. Pods here. And if we get a message that's saying, but you're still hungry when we wake up, we're playing the wrong game. So, let's go. We're all cramped in the tubes there, man. And if we head to Metaluna, we're definitely in the wrong franchise. Oh, we get that. That mode 7, yo. I thought that moon was supposed to be red. So, here is... Oh, Jesus Christ. It really did that to us. <laughs> so, yeah, we, we got we got more walking to do in a bit. Uh, the other thing... Yeah, th okay, they're, ju they're just making us do a lot more walking here. So, I will... I may fight some stuff, I may not.